We have already installed Pi system connector in the process control network. Now we're going to install Pi connector relay in the DMZ, which is in the Arcadia domain. In our setup, we are using three untrusted domains. The communication between the relay and the Pi system connector is through certificates which are being exchanged as part of the configuration and registration process. So is the communication between the Pi connector relay and the Pi data connection manager. In order for Relay to communicate with the destination Pi server, Windows Integrity Security is configured. Let's go ahead and start installing Relay. As best practice, let's right-click and run as administrator. We will put that in a local extracted folder. As part of the installation, it will install Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7. If the .NET requests you to reboot your computer, please make sure to do that. Let's go ahead and restart our computer. Once the machine finishes rebooting, it will continue with the installation. Here we will just enter the destination AF server and Pi server. Let's choose a TCP port to host the administration web service. The default port is 5460. In our case, we'll enter 5461. The next step is to use a low privilege service account to run the relay service. You can specify an alternative buffer file location. We will just use the default location. The installation kit will create a local Windows group called Pi Connector Administrators. Any user added to this group will be a relay administrator and be able to register a relay to DCN. Since we'll be using John's account to register this relay to the DCN, we will add him to this group. Let's take a look at the local users and groups. As you can see, John is already being added in here. Let's check in Windows services to making sure that the relay service is running. As you can see, Pi Connector Relay is running as this domain account.
Next, we're going to configure the security for the Relay service account. If you install the Relay in the same domain as the destination Pi server, you may directly go to the next step to configure Pi mapping and AF mapping for the service account on the destination Pi server. In our scenario, since the Relay is running as a service account in the Arcadia domain, and needs access to the destination Pi server in the untrusted TeamWatt domain. We created a dedicated domain account in the TeamWatt domain, and we will use Windows Credential Manager to map the service account for Relay in the Arcadia domain to the TeamWatt domain. Then the TeamWatt account can be easily given access to the destination server by configuring Pi and AF mapping. Let's configure Windows Credential Manager for the Relay service account. Let's right-click the command prompt. And run as the service account for Relay. As you can see, right now we're on the machine where the relay is installed. And I'm logged in to the command prompt using the service account for relay. And this is the command to add the TeamWatt domain account in the credential manager on the relay node. We can also use this command to make sure that a credential has been added. The next step is to configure the security for the Team What account, what we just add in the credential manager for the destination AF server and the Pi data archive. In order to write to the destination Pi server, the service account needs to have read access for the destination AF server on the AF server level read, read data, write, write data on the AF database and all the items in the AF database. For the Pi data archive, the service account needs to have read and write access for the Pi point table, PIDS table, and the Pi user table. Let's go ahead and configure the permission for this team what relay account on the AF server and Pi data archive. Let's open our Pi system explorer, go to server properties, Identities, right click and we'll create a new identity for the Team Ward Relay account. We'll call it Pi Relay. Let's also add a mapping for Team Ward Pi Relay account. And we'll map it to Pi Relay AF identity. Let's go to File connections and right click on the destination AF server. Select security, uncheck all the items and only check on the AF server name. And then we'll add the Pi Relay identity in here. We'll give it read access on the AF server level and we choose do not modify child permissions. Let's also go to database and we'll create a new database. We'll call it U.S. Refining. Right-click on this database, select Security, and we will add Pi Relay AF Identity in here, and we'll give it Read, Write, Read Data, Write Data for all the items in this AF database. Hit Apply, and then hit OK. Now we have finished configuring the security for the TeamWatt Pi Relay account on the AF server. Next, let's open the Pi system management tool. Go to security, identities, and let's create a new identity for the relay. We will call it Pi Relay. Then let's go to mappings and we'll create a mapping for the TeamWatt Relay account. 
and we will map it to this pi relay identity. Let's go to database security, double click on the pi point table, and we will add pi relay, and we'll give it read and write. Let's also do the same for PIDS table and PI user table. Now we have finished the installation for PI connector relay.